People are often confused about the difference between religion and law of attraction. Some people think that it's okay to practice their religion and law of attraction. Some people think that they're one and the same. Some people think that they're totally different. And others think that they cannot practice it at all with their religion because it goes against the principles of God. Let's talk about this real quick. So what is the law of attraction? The law of attraction states that like attracts like. So if you are happy and positive, you attract more of that. Religion, on the other hand, focuses on something a bit different. Most religious people believe in a supreme power called God and that God has a plan for them. But is law of attraction and religion one in the same? Let's explore it a little bit. I won't go into many religions, but I will take a couple of minutes to just talk about what the Bible says in a couple of quotes, uh, verses, and even a few things that Buddha said about it. This really isn't about me trying to prove one way or another whether the law of attraction is better than religion. I have my own opinion, you'll form yours. It will take a lot of research on your part though to get into the scriptures and ancient texts and to dig in and do the research so that you can come to your own conclusion. But anyway, a couple of scriptures in the Bible that kind of, in my opinion, endorses law of attraction. Uh, Proverbs 18, 21 in the King James Bible says, death and life are in the power of the tongue. Death and life are in the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. So in a sense, that is law of attraction. We speak, we believe, we receive. That's what the law of attraction says. The Bible also says, as a man thinketh, so is he. Um, in Matthew 21, 21, Jesus answered and said unto them, Verily I say unto you, if you have faith and doubt not, you shall not only do this which is done to the fig tree, but also if ye shall say unto the mountain, be thou removed and be thou cast into the sea, it shall be done. You would have to go to Matthew 21 to get the full significance of that verse and how Jesus spoke to the fig tree. And as a result of his speaking, the fig tree had to perform according to his words. Now, let's look at a little bit of what Buddha said. Buddha said, your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own thoughts, unguarded. But once mastered, no one can help you as much. So your worst enemy cannot harm you as much as your own thoughts. And that's why the law of attraction teaches us to focus on our thoughts. Anytime I have a negative thought, I've trained myself to catch it immediately and to get it out of there. It just helps to change the energy, the environment of everything that I'm experiencing at the time. And I end up attracting more positive because even all of my affirmations are nothing but positive about me. Buddha also said, one thought leads to heaven, one thought leads to hell. Again, control your thoughts. Buddha stated, we are shaped by our thoughts. We become what we think. When the mind is pure, joy follows like a shadow that never leaves. Now, the thing about religion, it has power. Because the collective thought of consciousness works together to bring about a result that many minds and belief systems cast out into, into the universe and then the universe has to 
give them as they believe. But although religions have power because the people that practice them believe in the power of their religion, those same religions can sometimes hinder what you are trying to attract. This is because the person is asking for something to a source outside of themselves. They will sometimes say, if it be your will to the deity that they are praying to. This can hinder them from getting what they want because they don't understand that they have not put the confidence in themselves to attract what they want. There is a universal source that's not biased. And we are all creators. That universal source has to give us what we want. As long as we speak it, believe that we received it, it shall manifest into this reality. So it's not bias. But on the other hand, you hear people say, every time I get some money, something break down and it has to go to that. And they keep saying that over and over and over. Well, guess what? They are calling that. The universe isn't biased. It's going to give them exactly what they say, what they think, and what they believe. So there is a universal source of energy that dwells in us and in all things. It gives us whatever we think, speak, and believe. Understand that with this energy source dwelling in you, you have the power to create your own world by your thoughts, words, and belief. So pay attention to what you're thinking constantly. In the beginning, you'll start noticing, and it's natural because in life, you know, there's balance, there's good, there's bad, there's light, there's darkness, there's happiness, there's sadness. So obviously the mind is going to be thinking good thoughts as well as negative thoughts, but it's in our control to pay attention to what we are thinking. And when we recognize that we are thinking something negative, we need to immediately grasp it, take control of that thought and replace it with something, something with gratitude, something good, something loving. You know, the Bible even says to think on these things. So whether law of attraction or religion is your choice, uh, that's up to you. All I say is research. I've practiced both. And what has really worked very, very well for me is the law of attraction. I have constantly spoken affirmations over my life. I have constantly paid attention to my thoughts. And I'm actually very, very happy living in life. And you can too. Just understand that you have the power to create your world Everything that you think, everything that you speak, you are creating it because that energy is going out into the universal source and the universal source, unbiased as it is, can only give you what you're asking for and what you're thinking and what you're believing. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel, The Good Life Media. Productions is a channel that will help you gain perspective on life in a way that you've never thought of it.